Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saturday and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do a little service and operational video to showcase our new Outlaw hand crank leather stitcher. So I'm going to show you some of the more, we're going to try to do a three part video series on this, and I'm going to show you some of the finer points of machine operation as well as setup. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to thread the machine, and then we're also going to talk about how to change the bobbin. So assuming that you have your thread set up on the back of the machine, and you can also choose to set up a separate thread stand for this if you like, but um, we, you, it does have an integrated thread stand that can mount on the back of the machine. And so what we would do is take the cone of thread, and then we're going to take the tip, we're going to put it up through this hole right here. And then from there we're going to put it through this eyelet, on the, the first eyelet position on the machine. Then we're going to bring it around the first set of tension discs right here, making sure that the thread is sandwiched very tightly between those discs. And then we're going to bring it around the back side of the second set of tension discs, which is called the uh, primary uh, set of tension discs. We're going to bring it around there just like that. And we're going to do one full revolution, but also additionally on the outlaw compared to other sewing machines, we're going to do a second revolution around this uh, set of tension discs. Now this is unlike what we do on our regular sewing machines like our 3200 and our 45. So remember on the Outlaw we want to make two revolutions around this disc instead of just the one to one and a half that we do on the 32 and the 45. Then what we're going to do is we're going to thread this eyelet here on the machine. And then we're going to thread this eyelet that's on the thread take up lever. So now what will happen, assuming that the thread mechanism is working properly, is that as we pull the thread through, we should see this disc in, that's sandwiched in between these two washers. This disc will actually spin. And let me see if I can show, if you can see that the disc itself is spinning, but, um, and that's exactly what we want, that's desirable. So if the disc was not spinning, then the machine would not be uh, delivering the proper thread tension. So the disc definitely needs to spin. Then for the next threading position, we go through the tube that's in the top of the machine, and we put the thread all the way through the tube, and then from there, we will put the, th uh, put the thread along the front cover of the machine down here, and then right where the needle goes in uh, to, the, to the armature, the, or to the needle bar on the machine, we're gonna lift this up just a little bit, and then we're gonna put the thread through this eyelet, that's on the uh, needle guide and then we're going to thread the needle from left to right and it, it's always from left to right now when you install the needle in the machine on, an, on a commercial sewing machine you can put the needle in any which way but loose however there is only one correct way and that is so that the long groove on the needle faces to the left and the flat spot of the cutout which is called the scarf on the needle faces squarely to the right and that's the reason why we thread our needle from left to right because you can see now the thread is being shielded by the groove that's on the left hand side of the needle. So you uh, always put your needle so the long groove faces to the left, flat spot or cutout faces to the right, and then you thread the needle from left to right. So, and now um, I'm gonna take this cover off real quick so we can simulate a bobbin pickup. And to pick up the bobbin on the machine, you're gonna lift the presser foot up, you're gonna put the thread between the two toes of the presser foot, you're gonna allow it to hang off to the right hand side, and then in one fell swoop, you're gonna drop the handle all the way down, and then you're gonna drop it all the way up, or raise it all the way up rather, and you will see that it pulls up the bobbin thread, so now you can see the thread is tied. So you wanna separate the two loops, you'll lift up on the presser foot again, holding the thread off to the rear, and you're now ready to insert your material into the machine and sew. Now in order to change the bobbin on this machine, you'll notice that there is a small tab right here on the side of the bobbin case. You will push that tab this direction. As you push the tab outward, the bobbin case will spring open. Just like that. And then the, there's a spring that's down inside the bobbin case which will allow the bobbin to, uh, you can, it, it, it ejects the bobbin. And then what you're going to do is you pull the bobbin right back out. And then in order to insert a new freshly wound bobbin, you want to hold the bobbin between your thumb and your index finger, pull on the thread, 
when the bobbin spins in a, if the bobbin spins in a counterclockwise direction, that's exactly what we want. That's desirable. Now, if the bobbin spins in a clockwise direction as it is here, we just turn the bobbin upside down. So by pulling it this direction, the bobbin spins in a counterclockwise fashion. To insert the bobbin back into the sewing machine, you'll uh, simply drop the bobbin into the case, holding it with your index finger on your right hand. You'll slip the thread in between the discs right here, and then you'll pull straight down, and then that'll have the effect of seating the thread um, on the tension mechanism that's on the bobbin case. And then you'll slam the bobbin case shut, pull on the thread to make sure that it is uh, exuding some tension on the thread. And then after that, we'll trim our thread to approximately um, six inches. And then again, we'll pick up the bobbin thread, just like that, so the bobbin thread is picked up. And you can pull a little bit of slack out of it if you'd like to, to have you know, two equal lengths of thread. And then after that, we'll reinstall the bobbin case cover. The bobbin case cover installs, you notice on the side there's a remove and there's a set. Um, remove to, to remove the bobbin case cover, you twist this way. To set the bobbin case cover, you twist this way. So we'll put the bobbin case cover on the machine in a cockeyed position, and then we will simply twist it and that allows the bobbin case cover to seat. So the bobbin case cover is very unique on this sewing machine. There's no other sewing machines of this type on the market that actually have an integrated bobbin case cover. So it is a, a, a nice safety feature. So anyhow, this is the uh, uh, short demo operational video that shows you how to thread the machine as well as change the bobbin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call me directly. My name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saddlery and Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And you can reach me at area code 330-692-1418. And I do thank you for your time today.